Hello guys, welcome to my very first Windows 7 video and I'm going to be showing you one of the features of Windows 7. So basically, in Windows 7, basically Ultimate, Windows 7 Ultimate and Professional, maybe even Enterprise, they have a version that basically allows you to have Windows XP as a virtual machine and it's a free virtual machine. No cost at all if you have that that version and you can pretty much use it like you would with Windows XP. So today I'm going to be showing you that. So I'm going to basically launch Windows XP from my Windows 7 computer and I upgraded it by the way. It took me about four hours to upgrade from uh, Windows Vista to Windows 7 but it was worth the wait, trust me. Okay, so I'm going to launch that. Um, as you can see, this is actually one of the other modes. Um, I didn't mean for this to happen, so I'll show you this later in the video. Let's see, I'll launch this. Here we go. And now, it, as you can see, it very, very quickly opens up Windows XP. Within seconds, it starts up. It's that fast. It is in incredibly fast. As you can see, I can start up programs very, very easily within Windows XP. And I'll show you how to get that within Windows XP. Why not? Okay, so the first thing I'll do is you want to type in Windows 7 if you have a professional or ultimate XP mode. Then you hit download. And if you are basically a programmer and there's application problems, you know, applications don't work right in Windows 7, you can download this for free. This is mainly used for businesses that want to program and still like the features of Windows 7. So if you still like Windows XP, and I do too as well, you can definitely get this out. And if you don't have Windows Ultimate, if you already have a Windows 7, uh, no, excuse me, Windows XP installation disk with a, um, basically a license that you haven't used on a computer you can install it as a virtual PC in Windows 7 home premium starter pretty much whatever you want using a program on a side note I'll show you under here called VirtualBox and not to get it too into detail and off topic VirtualBox allows you to do the same thing you just need to install it on your own this is a pre-installed version of Windows XP so you can basically download that and use that. I'll I'll do more tutorials on VirtualBox using my Mac actually. So as you can see, Windows XP pretty much the same exact look of Windows XP. It very it's very fast and as you can see Windows XP mode registers too and then obviously you can't get support on Windows, you know, XP because it's an OEM. But if you have a full version of, you know, Ultimate or Enterprise, you can get support if it's not OEM. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. You can do pretty much the same exact things you can do with Windows XP. And I'm not sure about graphic graphics as far as that goes. I'm 99% sure that it doesn't have the graphics incorporated into here. In other words, I believe that you can't have games like fully fledged games on here. Like maybe Doom would work if it you know because it's lightweight but s such as like if you want um, Fallout 3 you're not gonna get that you know or, or any pretty much anything that requires high graphics maybe emulation you might get somewhere but that's about it now they obviously have a full screen mode and you can get into that you can also change the properties change the desktop background as you can see it looks pretty cool but I like the um basically the appearance the appearance of the silver one in here I don't like blue so it'll it's very fast as you can see I'm launching up programs just as fast as they would normally start in Windows 7 pretty much like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you there's basically two actually three modes to this and ones that's already enabled is called integration mode and then there's a basic mode and the basic mode would be done by saying disable integration features which I'm not going to do and the only basically you're stuck in this if you move your cursor and click on it you're stuck in the virtual box and the only way to get out of it is to press control and alt 
and then it would basically stop it. It works very similar to Parallels uh, as well, and I'll be showing you guys more of that in Mac world. But yeah, that's basically it. And there's a second one that's also in Parallels that's called, it, it's basically integrates your programs within Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this down very fast. It's telling me it's hibernating it. That's how it's so fast, basically. It doesn't shut it down. So it takes literally about maybe 15 seconds at most. And now that it's closed down, let's say I have Firefox within, you know, Windows XP. Puts in uh, parentheses Windows XP mode. I hit enter. It, it starts up to launch the application. Takes about maybe about five to ten seconds, hopefully, and maybe a little bit more than that. But as you can see, it launches up. I pretty much have Windows XP here. I can use it. One thing I do have to complain about though is as you can see within Windows 7 they have this. You can basically have it divided into two. I don't see that within Windows XP. I might actually write to them about that saying if you incorporate this feature it might be useful to some people. You know basically you can't do that or make it full screen and I, I believe they can incorporate it pretty easily in an update. So we'll see if that changes within the next year maybe maybe not but it's not it's not bad at all and you guys can get it for free so I'll include a link in the right on how to get it and you basically like I said have to have either professional ultimate or enterprise so alright guys thank you for watching this video there will be more I apologize for not doing it for a while but that's about it thanks guys